Hello, I am Rim Bourguiba, I'm a medical doctor. Today we are going to talk about serum amyloid A. This, this video is made within the CLIPS project relative to the working group use of biological drugs for treatment of auto-inflammatory diseases. In this video, we will try to answer to some questions. We will start with the definition of serum amyloid A. In fact, under certain circumstances, like inflammation or infection, cytokines are produced, like EL1 and EL6. The cytokines stimulate the liver to produce the acute phase inflammation protein as SAA, CRP, and aptoglobin. The second question is, is SAA is really correlated with CRP? And the answer is yes. In fact, as you may see here, the curve of CRP and the curve of SAA are correlated and had, and had the same kinetic. So in our clinical practice, in daily practice, we can uh, just prescribe CRP instead of SAA. When should we do SAA? In fact, it's recommended to dose SAA in chronic inflammatory diseases, in chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, in circulatory doses, and in COVID-19. Recently, several studies showed that SAA rate is correlated with the severity of disease, especially in COVID-19. Now let's summarize situation in which we can observe a higher rate of SAA. In fact, SAA may be elevated in infections, in trauma, in cancer, in inflammatory diseases. But I have mark here the fact that if the patient had a high level of SAA, this does not implicate that the patient had amyloidosis. And thanks a lot for your attention.